Number five. The Viet Cong were well known for their cunning booby traps. During the Vietnam War, as tank divisions began circulating through the country, the native guerrilla warriors were faced with a new threat, and their ingenuity eventually made it so that the relative safety given by a tank's thick metal plates soon became non-existent. The Viet Cong would suspend explosives several feet in the air and then set up a tripwire. The wire was high enough so that foot soldiers wouldn't run into it. Tanks, on the other hand, would trigger the booby traps and the explosives would fall on them. Number four. The practice of grave robbing is for sure less popular these days, but it used to be quite the problem in the 1800s. Medical students, scientists, and the occasional creep all wanted their own bodies. So cemeteries had to take drastic measures to keep their residents in place. Cemetery guns were connected to trip wires or springs, and they were meant to deter or destroy any would-be robbers. These traps were set at night by groundskeepers, and mourners of the dead were well aware not to visit the graves after dark. Some of the guns were only loaded with rock salt or birdshot, while others had a load meant to maim or even kill. And eventually, coffin torpedoes became all the rage. One design consisted of a shotgun placed inside a coffin rigged to shoot the face off anyone who opened the lid. Other designs were a lot more similar to landmines and were set with pressure charges. But by the turn of the century, refrigeration eliminated the need for grave robbery and the cemeteries disarmed. Number three, back to the Viet Cong. The Viet Cong's brand of guerrilla warfare consisted of booby traps that were quick, simple, and quite savage. These features are perfectly embodied by the traps known as punji sticks. These sharpened bamboo sticks would be placed inside a pit and smeared with human excrement or any substance that might cause a nasty infection. The pit was covered and camouflaged by a light frame. As soldiers stepped on it, the frame would give in and they'd fall inside. Pop quiz, hot shot. What conniving booby trap from ancient times did the Greeks use to break through a city's walls? I'll give you a clue. These days, it's also known as a computer virus. Let us know what you think in the comments below and stay tuned till later in the video to see if you're right. Number two, the swinging mace was one of the favorite of the Viet Cong. It's incredibly brutal and very simplistic. Some say it's the most elegant of booby traps. It's also known as the spike ball. Whatever name you call it, the result is nightmarish. As US soldiers triggered a wire, a heavy ball made of wood and metal came swinging from a tree. It had spikes welded onto it and was devastating to anything in its path. It's answer time. So what booby trap did the ancient Greeks use to take down a city? While definitely far from the conventional booby trap, the Trojan horse has to be one of the most ingenious contraptions ever devised. As the legend goes, the ancient Greeks had tried to sack the city of Troy for over a decade, but its walls wouldn't budge. So they built a giant wooden horse, left it on the beach as a type of offering to the gods, and then pretended to sail away. The Trojans pulled the horse to their city to keep it as a victory trophy, and then they got their party on. Unknown to them, the wooden horse was filled with some of Greece's finest warriors. At night, the Trojans were sound asleep. The Greeks got out and opened the gates for the rest of the army. Number one. It seems that the only thing worse than a Nazi is a Nazi that's about to lose the war. With the Allies at their backs, the German soldiers became even crazier about bombing and booby traps. A simple helmet lying on the ground could conceal a landmine. An abandoned weapon leaning against a tree could be rigged to blow. Explosive devices were connected to doors and cupboard drawers. Bombs were hidden inside tin cans, bars of soap, flashlights, and chocolate. Yeah, that's right. Nazi chocolate was literally the bomb. The casing was made out of steel with a thin covering of actual chocolate. As soon as someone bit in or broke off a piece, the trigger was activated and they only had seconds left. The Germans did have a plan to assassinate Winston Churchill using one of these chocolate bombs. We're thinking that a rigged cigar would have probably been more effective. 